Heidi Watney met with the players earlier. And Heidi, where do you sense this team is mentally coming into this division series? Matt, I visited with several players and coaches ahead of this opening game of the division series. And one thing I noticed was a sense of calm or quiet confidence. They feel like there isn't much standing in their way as long as they can continue to do what got them here. Well, that's easier said than done, but there is a lot of belief in this clubhouse right now. Leading off for the Phillies, the second baseman, Cesar Hernandez. First delivery to him on the way. And it's fouled away. So, guys, on the way to this NLDS berth, these Mets turned in their first winning season since 2016. Well, a big part of that turnaround was the big moves in the offseason, particularly the trade that brought in Robinson Cano and Edwin Diaz from the Mariners to Queens. Yeah, I think that trade, Dan, definitely showed the world the Mets were ready to compete again. They're not going to accept another underperforming season, and the team responded this year by becoming a winner. We'll see how far they can take this thing. Maybe they have a chance to revenge their World Series loss. Well, if they do, it would be the third title in franchise history and the first since way back in 1986 when they stunned the Boston Red Sox. Under it, Lagares, and there's one away. Now batter. The right Here's field. Bryce Harper now. Right. No hits to this point. Harper. Here's the first pitch to him. Started the breaking ball far too inside that time. Laid off for ball one. The 1-1. One, one. And he'll just fight this one off as it's chopped foul. No runs, four hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Two two pitches fouled away. Ready with another two two. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now, three and two. Count still full, three and two. The next three, two. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Conforto is there, two down. Now back, the first base. And that'll bring up the Sacramento Hoskins. product, Reese Hoskins. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Here comes the first pitch. Strike one to start the at bat. The wind up and the 0 1. Good hard slider there, but it runs away. It's a ball and a strike. A swing and a ground ball to third. A dive, but he can't get a glove on it. It's through for a base hit. Hey, they say in this game you better have a short memory. Well, that's obviously the case now with this batter. He came into that third at bat after getting his ticket punched twice and was able to get a sack. Here's the center fielder, Odubel Herrera. And he's a bit tardy there on the first pitch fastball. It's nothing in one. In previous duels with the Grom, he's got 12 hits in 51 at bats. And another foul ball. Here's another 0 2. This one's down to third. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. One left for Philadelphia, and this is still a nothing nothing ball game. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Hamilton Simmons. Over two on his line thus far. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings. 
with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. One and one to the Mets leadoff hitter. Two balls and a strike to count to Andrelton Simmons. Well, New York Mets fandom has really been taken to another level by that group decked out in orange in right center field. They got their name from the seven line subway train that serves City Field, and it's become quite a big deal here in Queens. Yeah, Matt, they really do an awesome job rallying the Mets and getting more fans bought into the whole movement. But one of the things I love most about the group is how well they travel. You see cheering sections in other cities, but now these battle. guys go all over Number the country, six. invade sections of visiting ball parks to root for the Mets it's pretty impressive yeah it's a well organized group believe it or not that holds several events throughout the year they even take their act on the road to visiting ballparks a couple of times each season it's been really great for the Mets organization low for ball one he's one for two in this one and a strike to even the count one and one you know, hats off to the pitcher right there. You got a great hitter at the plate. It's early in the count, and he wanted to get ahead. Nice challenge pitch right there. A ball and two strikes now. To two balls and two strikes now. Lifts it into the air to shallow center. Oh, and this deflects right off him. As we take a look at his numbers, a couple of things jump out at you. Definitely, Matt. He's been throwing it by guys the entire game, but that leads to some high pitch counts, and that's the case here. After that hit, you have to wonder if he's starting to get a little bit fatigued. Yeah, and in today's game, everyone seems to want to err on the side of caution in terms of pitch counts. Delivery to him on the way. Fastball in there for a cold strike. His lifetime line against Velasquez. Decent numbers. He's six for 15. Two of those hits were for home runs. And he lays off for ball one. McNeil, base runner at first with one out. Two balls and a strike. We've seen him go down on strikes more than once in this game, so this has been a better approach by him in this at bat. Much more patient, and he's gotten himself into a good hitter's count. Line toward the alley in left center. And that's into the gap and should be extra bases. McNeil isn't stopping. Here he comes to the plate. Tried to make it home when he shouldn't have, and now they've got him hung up. And they'll have runners at second and third now following the one-out right double. Fielder, Michael Conforto. It looks as though the decision makers in the dugout will give him a free pass to first, so the bases are loaded here on the intentional walk, the catcher, and the force 40. play is now in order. Wilson. So digging in now, Wilson Ramos, 0 for 2 here to start the afternoon. First offering on its way. Down the line and fair, that's a hit. And this will find its way to the 335 sign. One run score. And the second run will score. That makes it a 2-0 ball game. Hey, even the though we're in the middle the of this one here, viewer, that's a big base hit and two RBIs to boot. Yeah, you never know when it's going to come, Dan. But when you see runners in scoring position, you're up to the plate, your eyes light up, and you have to come through for the team. Great at bat right there. Here's Robbie Cano now. It was a single for him in his last at bat.
first pitch of the at bat. On a line to shortstop. Throw to the bag and the runners back in time. The first baseman, number 22. Now batting Dominic Smith and their runners at the corners now. Trying to keep the deficit right where it is the pitch and a ball one and oh you got to love that as a hitter right there it doesn't happen much but when it does you have to find a way to take advantage of the count fouled off one and two to Dominic Smith. Hey, if these guys are going to have any chance in this one, they are going to have to set their sights a little lower. You cannot expect to get the barrel of the bat to that baseball. That is entirely too high. The one-two is a fastball that misses. Two ball, two ball. Hit on the ground down the first baseline, but a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Ready with the two and two. Popped him up. Over to the left, but playable over in foul ground. And Franco will make the catch to retire the side. So two runs on three hits, no errors, and a couple of men left. On to the seventh here in game one. It's the Mets two, and the Phillies nothing. Up next will be Nick Williams. He'll start the seventh, and Dan, as a former Leading pitcher yourself, you must be enjoying this. The Lots of good pitching five. and defense today. Nick, oh, that's one of the keys. Really? We're seeing a lot of strikes. We're seeing a lot of swings. Is swung on and driven out to right center field. A ball that's well hit. And he's going to make the catch on the warning track. A fine running play there for the first out. Now it. So a nice running catch, catch on display that 18. time as we get a look at it again Real with control. show track. He took a nice route, covered a good amount of ground, 100 feet to be exact, to bring that one in. Well done. Into the box now, JT Real Muto. As he will take a look at strike one on a fastball right down the pipe. In previous duels with DeGrom, he totaled four hits in 33 at bats. The wind up and the 0 1. Oh, and this at bat is quickly moving from bad to worse. It's 0 2 now. The seventh inning is one of those innings when you might start seeing some warning signs from your starters that they're reaching the end of their rope but that's not the case here. He looks really solid to me on to first and it's a quick start to the seventh as now there are two away the third baseman number seven. So Michael next to the plate for the Bills Michael Franco he got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time first offering on its way. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And he fouls this one off. No runs, five hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. And he misses there, one and two. Next pitch will be number 100 for him now through six and two thirds. Fouled away. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is retired. Phillies down in order. They're still down. It's 2 0. Here's Juan Ligares. He went down on strikes last time up. The center fielder, Juan. Ready with his 100th pitch of the ball game. Swing and a ball pulled hard down the line in left. 
And that finds the outfield grass for a base hit. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. When it left his bat, I thought it might squirt foul, oh, but it the hugged the line and found that's its way good. into the corner. Good thought good. it might be a little bit closer good play at second, but he cruised in there with relative ease. Now to the plate, the pitcher, Jacob DeGrom. He's been great on the mound, so we'll see if he can do something with the bat here as well. He's earned the chance to take this at bat. Yeah, Matt, when a guy's throwing the ball as well as he has, it kind of forces the manager's hand to stay with him. He's been exciting to watch, and he's really had this crowd behind him the entire game. And he'll try and get his man to third here as he puts this one down. And the off-balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. The well, when you're trying to move a guy up the third with a bunt, that's exactly how you want to do it. Make the third baseman field the ball. That way, his only play is to first. That was very well executed. He's set and the pitch. Grounder down the line at third. And he is lucky to be able to scamper back to third as he's in safely. Throw on to first, two gone. The batter, number six. Jeff McNeil will be the next to take a turn. Runner in scoring position with Sukhan. First pitch on its way. And oh, looked inside, but that's ruled a strike. Nothing in one. Hey, this guy's pitching pretty well as we're rolling into the late innings. It's interesting though his first pitch strike percentage less than 40 percent so far in this one fastball just misses that's ball one well he's thrown a lot of pitches in this one but it's not like he's walking a bunch of guys only one free pass to this point but they're still making him work really hard a ball and two strikes now Lagares on third with two out. Out in front as he rolls over it to second. To his left, Hernandez. He'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. Met strand one, but they hold a 2 nothing lead. You're Andrew McCutcheon please. is going to be asked Please's to get things going ability. here as a lead off the top Number of the 22. eighth. Andrew. And that one's in on the hands to start the inning. It's ball one. In previous duels with DeGrom, he's got five base hits in 21 at-bats. He's taken him deep once. One and one to Andrew McCutcheon. Well out in front of the breaking ball there for a strike. That's how you open up the outside part of the plate. Pound two balls in, and they get right back outside. Nice pitch. And he struck him out. The tenth victim set down on strikes thus far. Very brisk the pace bat, to the ball game thus two. far. Two nothing Short our ball. score as you get a look Gene there at the line score to this Segura. point in the contest. Gene Segura standing in. He's working on a one for three thus far. First pitch coming. Here it is. First pitch is a slider called for a strike. High in the air out to center field. Ligares is under it. Two gone. Now battle. Ready now. Cesar Hernandez. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. This is pulled into right, and that'll get down for a two-out single. And that's just another base hit in a long line of many. Seems like he's been pitching from the stretch the entire game, but right. somehow he's still got a shutout going. We'll see how long he can make this last. And now Bryce Harper, as he'll take a changeup here for strike one. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. And it's one and one. You know, he's one of their guys they rely on to get their offense going. They need a rally, so we'll see if he can spark one here. 
One and two now as that one's fouled off. And yet another strikeout here. His 11th of the ball game, and this one ends the inning. Phillies strand one. They're down two to nothing. Ladies Sir Anthony Dominguez right is on to please. pitch out of the bullpen now in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 58, Sir Anthony Dominguez. So striding forward now, Joanna Cespedes. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another back. big hit right here. No left really got a good pitch to hit last Yo, time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you want. Meanwhile here, this ball's given a pretty good ride out to deep left field, and that is going to clear the wall. Home run. A solo home run here off the bat of Yoenis Cespedes. His first homer here in the series, and the Mets have taken a three to nothing lead. Well, people always wonder why some players make so much money, and there's your answer. The great ones find a way to rise to the occasion in the postseason, and he did right there. So they'll go to the bullpen now, and it'll be the left-hander here to face the upcoming left-handed batter. The right fielder, number 30, Michael. Into the box, Conforto. Michael Conforto. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 2. Now a check swing. Did he go around? No, says Kenny Jansen. It's ball one. Popped him up. Real Muto is there. And that's the first out of the inning. Now batting. Ready for another chance. Wilson Ramos has got a hit in three at bats to this point. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Outside with the fastball. That's one and oh. One out, nobody on. Oh, much too tardy on the fastball. One and one. Ready with the one and one. Rounded weakly down the line toward third. And that's the second out. Up next for the bat. The so striding in Robinson Cano he lined out in his last trip so looking for better fortunes here Cano waits on the first pitch line drive to center field Pereira is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side so one run here on one base hit the home run no errors and no one left on base we're on to the ninth here in game one Mets out in front three to nothing. And now it'll be the cleanup spot for the Phillies. Reese Hoskins will be charged with trying to get on board leading off the ninth. And we kick off the ninth inning with a swinging strike here. Nothing in one. Seared down the first baseline. But this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0-2 now. Classic change of speeds right there. Threw the hitter's timing off. Got a late foul ball. Interested to see where he goes now. So it was a strikeout looking there. Reese Hoskins becomes the first the out in the ninth field. inning. It's oh, been a rough game for him at the plate. Forever. Couldn't get the bat off his shoulder right there, and he struck out twice before that one. So he's going to have a lot to think about when he leaves the ballpark tonight. Standing in now, Odubel Herrera. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. He was a ground out victim last time up. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. Not looking good after being down 0-2. I think at the very least, you got to work this pitcher's count a little bit, try and get back into a decent count where maybe you can come through. Got him. 
as he just continues to mow down these hitters. The 13 the strikeouts now. Nick, I'll tell you, it's hard really to get good. more of a confidence boost than striking out the best hitters in the lineup. Back to back to back. He's looking really sharp right now. First pitch coming. Here it is. Now an off-speed pitch gets the outside. It's a cold strike. Oh, man. He's got a chance to strike out the side on nine pitches. Seven down, two to go. A crowd of over 39,000 on their feet. And they'll try to bounce a curveball on 0 and 2, but he holds back. It's 1 and 2 now. Tried to get him to chase that 0 2 curveball there, but he wasn't biting. Very well could see it again here, though. Two balls, two strikes to Nick Williams. Philly down to their last strike. He pulls this one high and deep to right center field. And that one is gone on a two strike count with two away in the inning. Solo shot to right center. His first homer so far in the series. And the Phillies strike for a run. It's now a three to one ball game. Well, when it left its bat, I didn't think it had the height to even clear the fence. Shows you how much I know. That thing was a laser shot that just kept going and going and going. Wow, that was impressive. Edmund Diaz gets the call here as he'll try and look for one out to finish this thing off. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the New York Mets, number 39, Edward Diaz. In now, JT Real Muto as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. back up the middle and that's through for his first base hit in this one so Michael Franco will get a chance to hit this inning following the two out success and if you're the manager you've got to love that about your team they were down to their last strike but they refused to go down without a fight so they live to fight some more Stepping in now, Michael Franco. As he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. He was punched out looking at strike three last time through. And that's taken for strike two as now they're down to their final strike here this afternoon. We're seeing quite a few pitches up from him right now, and that can. Oh, and he strikes him out to end it here as they were able to get the possible tying run to the plate, but could not cash in. So the Mets have taken game one of this division series. Yeah, but remember, this is just a five-game series, so getting that first win is really more meaningful in this round than it would be in the LCS or the World Series. Now, if they can win game two, they will be really in a comfortable position. And how about for the other side of the equation? What about the Phillies? Well, they will be pretty desperate to win game two to even this thing up, Matty, for the reason Dan just mentioned. Game two's outcome's really going to advance the narrative of this series. So the Mets grabbed an early advantage in the series with a big win in game one. Heidi, what can you report about what they're thinking heading into game two? Well, Matt, thanks. Talking with the team and their coaches earlier, they stressed the importance of this game today. They said taking the first one was great, and it's always a confidence builder. But if they don't take care of business in game two, that first win doesn't really mean that much. A 2-0 lead in a five-game series, though, now that is something they can get excited about. Into the box now, Cesar Hernandez. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Runs up and gets this one down. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. 
Well, he was planning that before he even got in the box. Right. And he got it down, but it wasn't quite good enough to put him on board. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. In there, no balls and a strike. You know, you look at this hitter, he doesn't care about being down 0-1. He doesn't care about having two strikes with him. He's got the utmost confidence in his ability to work back into the count and get him something over the heart of the plate. Looking for his 10th strikeout. Here's the pitch. Inside as he might be trying to set him up here one and two. And it's fouled away. Bases are empty, one man out. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. That's 10 strikeouts now for him now, and I'll tell you, the first he could rack up quite a few three. more before he's done. Still a lot of game left in this one. And that'll bring up the Sacramento product, Reese Hoskins. Career numbers versus Syndergaard. He's got a batting average of 444. Also of note, the four home runs he's hit against him. One ball, no strikes the count. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline. And a backhanded reach at first, but he can't flag it down. Hey guys, this, he's not known for being a singles hitter right here, but that's his second oh, knock of the game. And I'm sure he'll take him, but the guys on the other side of the scorecard might be thinking we really avoided a worse fate. Here's the center fielder, Odubel Herrera. The swing and left the ball foul off to the left and out of play. A hit in two tries for him so far. Grounded softly to the right. On to second for the force out, and the side is retired. One left for Philadelphia, but they're on top by a count of three to nothing. Leading up for the Mets, the center fielder, Ron. Here comes the first pitch. Now a ball lined toward the alley in left center. But this will be pulled in out there in left center. Well hit, but a rough out number one. Jumped all over that first pitch of the inning, and he didn't miss it. Just wasn't able to steer Ladies it in a direction that right. resulted in a leadoff hit. Travis Darno will move into the on-deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. Curveball just misses apparently. 1 0. Career line against Jared Eikhoff. Just a 1 for 9. This one's down to third. Franco has it. And quickly, there are two away. Now in the box, Andrelton Simmons. He flew out in his last at bat. Here's the first pitch to him. Sends that one out of play for strike one. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. Curveball taken for a strike on the inside. This guy's pitching really well in this one so far. You could just see he's awful confident attacking the strike zone, and when he comes off the mound at the end of the inning, looks like he's. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Mets go down one, two, three. Still down three, nothing. Your Seth Lugo please. is on to pitch from now the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 67. Seth Lugo. Standing in, Nick Williams. He'll be tasked with starting things as we begin the seven. Nick Williams. Breaking ball drops right in the chute for a strike. That pitch was right down the heart of the plate, but obviously this guy had made up his mind on the on deck. Sir. Hit high and deep out to left center field. Cespit is going back on the warning track. He makes the catch. Now batting, 
catcher. JT digging in now for Philadelphia. JT Real Muto past matchups against Seth Lugo. He's a 333 hitter. Hard ground ball to third. A dive and he knocks it down. And he'll make it to first easily on what will almost certainly be ruled an infield the single. Baseman, number seven. That Michael had to be in the scouting Bronco. report right there. You don't see too many OO breaking ball ambushes in the game anymore. He had to know that pitch was coming. Fouled off. Real Muto stands at first with one out. Curveball. Swing and a miss, and he's behind in the count 0 and 2. The 0 2 is a breaking pitch taken for a ball 1 and 2. The 1 2 is at the knees and called strike three. What's your take on all the strikeouts we see in the game today, Dan? That was his now third tonight, and it seems we're seeing period. that a lot more these I days. Thought. Yeah, Matt, there's been a real change in philosophy as far as hitting in baseball today. A lot of guys think now that an out is an out. A strikeout is just as good as a regular out, but we're seeing strikeouts at an alarming rate in baseball right now. Waved at and missed, and he's behind 0-2. And strike three called as he says, You got to be kidding me with the side retired. Philly strand one. They lead it three to nothing. Jeff McNeil will be the next to take a turn. Career line against Jared Eikhoff. He's a 333 hitter. First pitch coming. Here it is. Into right field. That's a base hit. Yeah, man, he's locked in and pretty dominant since the first. So as long as he can get back in that groove with the next batter, he's not going to worry too much about it. Here's the left fielder, Ioannis Cespedes, as he will take a look at a fastball in there as that strike zone expands just a little. It's 0-1. Slider, and that's in there for strike two. Guys, I've been really impressed with him tonight. I mean, he's carving these guys up with all of his pitches. Rip down the line. And he tries for the backhand to reach his third, but he gets by the glove down the line. Hey, this might be their best opportunity to at least get on the board. They've been struggling right offensively, and they 30. find themselves with two Strike runners goal. on board. Let's see if they can Cut continue. Next will be the Mets cleanup hitter, Michael Conforto. And his guys are looking to erase that donut on the scoreboard with a runner in scoring position. Yeah, Matt, they've been really shut down so far in this one. They've had runners on base, but haven't been able to string anything together. One and oh, the count. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. We've seen him go down on strikes more than once in this game, so this has been a better approach by him at this at bat. Much more patient, and he's gotten himself into a good hitter's count. No runs, three hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. And he hits the corner with that one, two and two. Working for the punch out and the offering. Here's a shot to right field, and that's going to be in for a base hit. And the run will score from second as it's back to just a two run ball game now. Hey, Diro, they're making this guy pay. That's three straight singles and a run driven in. Yeah, nothing hit extremely hard. Killing them softly, station to station with those knocks. Here's the Philadelphia manager on his way out to the mound now. And a change is forthcoming as that's going to do it for his starter here this evening. 
So he'll leave with the lead. Can't now, lose this one, but he is responsible for the two Number runners out three. there, so he could get a no okay. decision if they were to come oh, around and score. Jose Alvarez comes on now, and he'll take over with nobody out in inning number seven. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. That finds the zone, a called strike. In prior at bats against Jose Alvarez, he's one for four. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. And he lays off this one down and in for ball two. A lot of times you see guys get too aggressive and try to do too much at the plate with guys on, but right here he's doing a great job of waiting on the right pitch. Got himself ahead in the count now. Hernandez at second. On to first, so he comes right out of the bullpen and gets the double play. Gotta now love batter. that out of his reliever, right? The first Ball battery faces, he gets to roll Shut over up. into a double play. Hold the right string that time, Skip. Here's Robbie Cano now as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. That one bends into the zone a strike on the breaking ball. Cespedes at third with two away. And he'll miss the target there with a the curveball and it's two and one now. Fastball gets the upper part of the zone for strike two. Slider whiffed on for strike three. A great pitch to put an end to the inning. Mets forced to settle for one here in the inning. Eighth inning coming up. The Phillies lead it three to one. Gene Segura standing in. Reading off for the Phillies. The shortstop. First pitch on its way. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Hit in the air down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. And he lays off for a ball two and one. Swing and a ball lifted in the air toward the line and right. And there's a base hit. So a chance to add a little insurance here as the leadoff man is on to start the eight. Hey, now some guys can handle the, the postseason lights, and this is obviously base one of them. Another Fernandez. base hit leading off for the boys. This guy's had a monster postseason so far. Now time is called and this might be to buy a little time for that reliever to get loose. Into the box now Cesar Hernandez as he'll send a ground ball down to third and just past his outstretched glove into left the base hit. Hey guys there had to be something in the scouting report right there for now him to be on top of that right and change up the way he right. was that was pretty special. Harper. So it's first and second now. Nobody out. And that'll bring in a dangerous hitter indeed in the form of Bryce Harper. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention. So they'll make a matchup move now here and bring on a southpaw to face the left handed hitter due up. Justin Wilson. First pitch coming. Here it is. And a strike called at the knees. Nothing in one. Harper behind with an 0 and 2 count now. So back to back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another? Normally not a good pitching plan to throw the same hitter the same pitch three times in a row. But both of those sliders back to back were so good. I might just go ahead and try to throw now another one. So it was a swinging pitch. strike three. Bryce Harper oh. becomes the first out of the inning. Now time is called and this might be to buy a little time for that reliever to get loose. Yeah. 
Standing in now, Reese Hoskins. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. Eighth inning of this low scoring affair. Three to one our score. Hoskins behind to count 0 and 2. And on 0 and 2, he misses with a fastball. That misses, and we're even at 2 and 2. That's a great take right there. Great pitch recognition to let that one go. Opposite handed, that's coming across the plate. You might think you got a shot to stay inside that one. Now another 2-2. Two -two. Pitch swung on and hit in the air toward the line in right. Conforto has it in his sights. Oh, no, he missed it. Segura rounds the corner and is headed home. Safe at the plate as they extend their lead to three. Yeah, that's definitely going to be an unearned run there. Looked like he tracked the ball well off the bat, but when it came time to close the deal, he just couldn't squeeze it. He'll be thinking about that one for a while. In now, Odubel Herrera, as he'll take one up in the zone, but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike. Right there, and it's quickly 0-2 now. Not looking good after being down 0-2. I think at the very least, you got to work this pitcher's count a little bit. Try and get back into a decent count where maybe you can come through. Hold high in the air out to right field. Conforto has it in his tracks. Makes the catch, but the runner from third breaks for home. So add one more on the sack fly as that'll make this a 5-1 to one game. Hey, talk about uh, having a productive inning. You like to see that. You like to add on runs anytime you can. And the sack fly here gives their team another insurance run, and they're starting to blow this thing wide open. Fastball just inside. This inning really feels like it's getting away from him out there. As a reliever, you can't let that happen. Nothing you can do about what's already happened, and it's only going to get worse if you're not focusing on the guy in the batter's box. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. And a good effort here, but he's well safe at first. And there are two on and two out now. Coming to the plate now, JT Real Muto is working on a one for three thus far. No balls and a strike to count. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. And he fouls this one off. Set to deliver on nothing in two. Here it comes. Tried to get him to chase the cutter there, a ball and two strikes. So the intent of that 0-2 cutter right there isn't necessarily to get a swinging strike. If you get it, well, hey, that's great. But if you get it inside enough, threw it right past him, a swing and a miss at the gas, and that ends the inning. So two runs on three hits, one error, and two men left on base. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. It's the Phillies five and the Mets one. Now the skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area, and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. Your attention, please. A new pitcher set to take over, and it's one of just a handful of submariners around nowadays. Right-hander Pat Nation. Ready once again, Dominic Smith. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. It doesn't look very promising so far on this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. A ball and a strike to the Mets' first baseman. Now some action in the Phillies' bullpen as a right-hander begins to crank it up out there. Sharp ground ball to third. And the throw to first is in time, one gun. The center fielder. Here's Juan Lagares. Hit the ball pretty well in his last at bat, but it resulted in a line out. Yeah, pretty unlucky right there, Matty. Squared up a fastball nicely, and that's all you can do. You just want to be on time for the heater, and he's prepared for this next day, baby. And an off balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. Keon Broxton will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number 23, Keon Broxton. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike.
five one our score as we play the eighth. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Herrera's there. And that retires the side. Down in order go the Mets. They're down here five to one. Robert Gesellman enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Robert. Ready for another oh, shot man. now. Michael Franco, lifetime matchup numbers with Gesellman. He's got two hits in 17 at bats. Ball Number one seven. to start the at bat. Michael Franco. Smoke on the ground, left side. And that is into left field, so the leadoff man's aboard to kick off the ninth. Hey, look at this guy compete right there. Nice the base field. hit. Are one you field. kidding me? He had already had the hat trick. He was staring the golden sombrero straight in the face, and he said, no dice. Swing and a line drive, and that'll get down for a base hit. But now a throw from the outfield will get him. How slow can you be? Oh, man, I don't know how now that bad. happened. Looked, Looked to be a base hit to the outfield, but then all of a sudden the, the throw comes in, and they get the force on the plate. To be honest, that just can't happen. Into the box, Gene Segura. And so wait out a breaking pitch here that finds the zone for strike one. Two hits in four attempts to this point. And they go away here. It's a called strike. Nothing in two. McCutcheon leads off first with one away. Segura behind on a one and two count. I'm pretty surprised by the location on those last three pitches. The book on him is that he hits the away pitch pretty well, but he just saw three in a row out there. So does he go back out there again? No, no man. I expect him to mix it up. Most catchers won't go to the same location over and over and over. Now a fastball on the inside corner, and he takes a look at strike one. Lifetime matchup numbers with Gesellman. He has seven hits in 22 tries. Now the 0-2 pitch. And he struck him out. So a good pitch there. And now they're going to need to string some hits together in this last at-bat if they want to get back in this thing. One left for Philadelphia. They lead this one, though, 5-1. to one. Sir Anthony Dominguez, a six foot one inch right hander, will be the one to get the call from the bullpen here. Sir Anthony Dominguez. Next for the Mets, Andrelton Simmons. He's the one to start things off with his guys in danger of seeing this series leveled at a game apiece, barring a ninth inning rally. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. Good pitch right there from the reliever. Tough for hitters to do much with pitches in that location unless they're looking for it. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Simmons racing for second now. And just what they needed here to start the bottom of the ninth is he's in with a two base hit. Number two. He just tattoos this ball right here. Tried to sneak a fastball in on him? No way. Drives it to deep left center field gap, and that was a nice job to get the barrel around in time to score that baby up. Next up for New York, Jeff McNeil. He scored after reaching on a single in his last time up. Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield he's going to wave them action in the bullpen now as a right hander begins to throw out there a ball and a strike and he finds a way to catch the zone here it's one and two. The one and two pitch. A bouncer up the middle. Throws in time, and that's out number one. The left fielder, number 52. Here's your one to Cespedes. Go, Although there are a couple of bases open, and we'll see if they think about working around him. You know, Madden, every team has that one guy, and Yoenis Cespedes is that guy for the Mets. Completely chained. High in the air and deep to left center field. 
It'll die on the warning track as the catch is made. And here comes the runner from third. And the run's going to score if they inch back a bit closer. It's now a 5-2 ball game. Great job there by this ball here. Known for driving the ball on the ballpark. Does the job right there with the sack fly and brings the run home. Tommy Hunter comes out of the bullpen to shut things down here in the ninth. Come set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. A fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. And he misses two and one. Bases are empty here with two men out. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Wilson Ramos would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Hard hit ball to second. And that's in for a base hit. He's two for four now. So it's a runner at first with two men out. And next is the catcher, Wilson Ramos. First offering on its way. Righty against righty as this is taken for a ball. It's 1-0. Conforto is off of first with two away. Two balls and no strikes to Ramos. The last thing you want to do when you've got a three-run lead in the ninth is give the other guys any sense of hope. It's a good time to challenge here on 2-0, especially since there's a good chance he's taking until he gets a strike. Two balls and a strike to count. The 2-1. And this will be a called strike two. And trouble now as they're down to their final strike tonight. We're seeing quite a few pitches up from him right now, and that can obviously be dangerous. A cold strike there, but he might need to lower his sights a little bit. Taken off the outside as the breaking ball couldn't catch the corner. Well, this is a big pitch right here. Two outs in the ninth. The last thing you want to do is walk a guy and bring the tying run to the plate. Takes this the other way to right. Solid base hit for him, his first of the afternoon. And they won't even attempt to run on that arm in right. So despite the runner moving on the pitch, the it'll wind up first and second here. Into the box now. Robinson Cano in the dirt here. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. Looking to minimize the damage here. Good pitch as this is swung on and missed. And now they're down to perhaps their final strike of the evening. Hey, you could tell his eyes lit up on that ball right there. It was a little up, but it was out over the plate. Tough pitch to pull, and this guy's known for going deep pull side. One ball and two strikes to count. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Segura has it. Throw on to second for the force, and the ball game is over. So the Phillies, after dropping the opener, are able to answer with a big win here in Game 2 to even this series at one apiece. Yeah, and this was a clutch win, Matt. Going down 0-2 in a five-game series would have put them in a rough spot. Yeah, they would have been almost dead, Dan. This win gives them much-needed breathing room and maybe some momentum heading into the pivotal Game 3. We've got an exciting division series on our hands, boys.